Good evening and welcome to Golden Lion Basketball. Tim Stubbs, Tyrese Booth. We are here. Tyrese Boone, rather. Yeah. As an old flop. We are here courtside and Alabama State UAPB, the first place 9-1 Golden Lions win the opening tip as they take on the visiting Alabama State Hornets who come in at 4-6 in conference play. With the basketball right off the bat here is McKnight. He had a triple-double, 30 points, 30 rebounds, or 30 <laughs> rebounds. I'm sound like uh, Wilt Chamberlain there for a moment. Oh 30 points, 10 rebounds, 10 assists in the last ball game, but a big, big game and maybe en route to another conference player of the week, which he's, I believe, already won three, four times, so having quite the season. Yeah, man, McKnight showing how marvelous he is. Game after game, time after time. Opening possession here for Alabama State after the UAPB miss just underway. Tough jumper will not go off the mark for Alabama State. That was Reginald G with the miss. Offensive rebound leads to an easy basket underneath for Alabama State's Pachardo, and it's 2 0 Alabama State. These two teams played in Montgomery, Alabama. About a month or so ago, right after the new year, it was the third conference game for the Golden Lions as they started the first three on the road. A 94-68 win for UAPB by 26 in Montgomery. That was an attention getter for sure. Yeah, I'm sure. I think McKnight, I believe you told me that he had 49 as he gets his first two right there. Oh, not 49, 39 points in that particular game. <laughs> Sound like me there for no, a moment. No, Jesus, I'm, I'm giving credit. Well, the, the jumper way. goes for McKnight as he continues to stay hot. We're tied at two. Ross works at left side, trying to get it down low. The kick out, strong drive here. And the layup again for Bichardo inside as he's got four early points for Alabama State. They lead by two. Great job working it inside the drive and the dish. It, the ability that these the, these men to make the decisions that they do as quickly as they do is always one of one of the things I'm most impressed by. And yeah, I'm gonna have a whistle underneath. Looks like it's gonna be a hold. And that's Toby. Oh boy, that's a tough Iw one. Iwashu. Uh, I was a Iwa host show. Iwa host show. That's that's a difficult one. That's that's not easy. So we're just gonna call him Toby. That's because his first name is actually Toby. Let's just let's just make that as clear as possible. 4-2 our score, Alabama State with a two-point lead here on the inbound. 20 on the shot clock. Steen step back, 10 footer is good. What a lean on that one. He was almost parallel to the ground on that fadeaway jumper, high arcing, but it made it into the net. Good pressure here. Ross able to get around it this time. Johnson and the dish to Washo gets it blocked. Pichardo is going to get the rebound off the second miss here. So a couple offensive boards for Alabama State. But it didn't hit the rim. Still got six to shoot here. Let's see if they notice it. G does not recognize it. They try to get it off, but the shot clock runs out and a violation on Alabama State. Yeah, great job by the combined effort of Steen and Harper to stuff the initial uh, initial dunk attempt. I believe that was G who went up for the dunk and was stuffed. Great uh, great job by the officials not calling a foul there when they were all ball all the time. Uh, Posey almost got stripped there. Yeah, Posey trying to beat the pressure here by Ross, able to get it across the timeline. Now Jackson has set it up three minutes in. Tied at four. Off the curl. Jackson passes up the shot. 12 to shoot. Off the shake. Long three. McKnight, no good. I mean, heat check there by McKnight. Why not let it fly, as a certain person I know likes to say that. And knocked out of bounds by Jackson. Going to stay with Alabama State here. 22 on the shot clock, 16.39 to play. Early first half, we're tied at four, UAPB Alabama State. Johnson, now to G, here on the left wing. Long three by Ross is no good. 
Offensive rebound stick back again by Pachardo, and the 6 8 forwards got all six. Yeah, he got all six, all eight of the, that frame that he's using, and a lot of hops as well. There's the lob to Steen inside. Good position. Gets it blocked, however, by Johnson. Right back, Harper stays with it and gets the tough bucket inside. Strong, strong, strong move by Harper. Tied at six. Been rugged early on here. Yeah, man, it's not a physical play. Good hands, McKnight to Jackson on the steal. A little hesitation dribble, kick out. McKnight extra pass to Harper, leans off the glass, no good. A second chance here for Harper, it's blocked by Johnson, but a foul is called. I mean, Johnson is, is looking to be one of the things that you need to look for down low in the post as he's just been powerful down there. We have a media timeout. We'll step aside here. 15-27 to play. Early first half, we are tied at six. UAPB Alabama State right back in just a moment. Fifteen twenty-seven to go early in this one. Six-six. Tim Stubbs, Tyrese Boone in the house. Yeah, yeah. Whoop, 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 Did a good whoop, whoop. job play-by-play play in the first game. Lady Lions and their big come from behind victory. Yeah, he yeah. just persevered. Yeah, exactly. It was one of those games where it could have really gone any direction, and it was an honor to be able to have my first basketball play-by-play. -play. Brought us good luck. Yeah, man. Two in a row for the Lady Lions, by the way. And they say streaks follow streaks. And first free throw is good by Harper. But after the eight-game losing streak, it's time for the Lady Lions to reel off about eight in a row here and right the ship. Off to a good start, though. Absolutely. Sure. No good on the second, but an offensive rebound here by Posey to keep it alive. Golden Lions have it by one, seven to six, 15-20 to play first half. Here's Posey, the drive right off the glass, or a little bit too strong off the rim, rather. And G pulls down the rebound for Alabama State. They'll set it up. Ross, the elbow, the kick out now here to Simeon. 15 to shoot. Five minutes gone by in this one. Ross off the screen, pull up jumper is short. Posey, the long rebound. He'll kick it ahead, right side, spotting up for three. Jackson in and out, no good. It was pure, but just didn't go down. Simeon. Ross now on the elbow. It's Pichardo. He's got all six, almost turned it over there, and probably should have been. George Ivory was screaming for it, along with a couple of fans. Yeah, in this building. Long three, Ross in and out, no good. A rebound by Steen. They're trying to turn this into a track meet, ASU. Knight spins, kick out, Steen's jumper is short. Offensive rebound, Harper, should have been a foul there, no call. I can't believe that wow. wasn't a call there. Referees are just kind of letting them play right now. Looked like a definite foul, but they did not call it. So Alabama State gets it back. Oh, nice. Big block. You heard the grunt there by Steen. Nice from the uh, basket, Mikes. And a block. Going to be on Alabama State. And I was about to say, if you don't call that one, 
You may have a riot on your hands. <laughs> I mean, we got a packed house tonight. A lot of excitement, a lot of energy for the first place SWAC holders right now. Uh, the Golden Lions have been almost unconscious this entire, uh, entire year. And the most unconscious of all is the Marvels when Martavius at night. As the referees, the officials blow this one dead for a second. How close is a lot of these games have been? 13-47 left first half. Golden Lions will end batted up 7-6. And they shot the lights out in that game at Montgomery, did the Golden Lions. I believe McKnight had about 25 that night, and you had Tolliver hit five threes, and Jackson as well. So they were knocking down, I want to say, 11 of 19 from three-point range. So they, they were on. Here's the inbound of McKnight, draws the foul, and he'll go to the line for two shots. And this is exactly what McKnight does better than probably anyone else in this, slack, in this whack. The ability to get inside. Number, number one, ability to distribute, to take the pressure off of himself to score. And the ability to get inside and get to the line. Now, from the line, he's not the greatest, as he's like 76%, which is pretty good for college, for sure. Yeah, that's not bad. That's actually not bad. He gets the, the line as much as he does. Hits the first here, and he's got three points early on. That would be with 100th free throw made on the season right there. And knocks in both shots. 101. So three point lead for the Golden Lions. Tipped and stolen finally. And boy, a lot of contact. Pichardo can't save it. But again, just so much physical play. Wow. And so if you're going to call it if you're going to not call it one way, you can't call it the other. That's, I mean, I don't start to have a problem with it until it looks they start calling the ticky sack stuff one side or the other. So To make up for exactly no fouls call, but definitely letting them play early in this one. 15 on the shot clock here is Jackson. Gold Lions up by three. Up and under off the glass, little scoop shot there. Whistle on a foul, it's gonna be a block on Alabama State. And that appears to be Austin Rogers, his second team foul number five. And the Gold Lions yet to be called for a foul. Now five on Alabama State, so you know Coach Lewis Jackson is gonna be harping on that. Yeah, preaching free throws. You gotta make him as Jackson uh, drops that one in easily enough. Um, yeah, why not just go to the line every time and you know, drop it to the hole, force them to pa uh, force them to foul, force them to call the foul. That's number one. And Jackson knocks it in. It's 11 to six now, and the Golden Lions on a seven to two run here to take a five point lead. Simeon now to Davis. Right back it goes on the elbow. They get it to Johnson. Simeon will fire the three. Has the kick out's no good. And yep. off, let's see, going to be off of Alabama Lions. State. That was LaFleur who that knocked it out. Those, that was one of those plays that could have gone either direction. Glad it went our way. Posey now. to Jackson here as they apply some pressure. They're starting to do that. Harper in the corner. Posey was flashing for it, didn't get it. Now Steen's got it. Nice pass. Posey off the glass for the two, and that's how you share the sugar right there. Exactly. If this was any other sport, I'd say they're outboxing him right now. They're just outpassing, outmaneuvering. Precision offense by the Golden Lions. They lead 13 to 6. The drive and Toby with the He's going to draw the foul. You're, you're hearing the benefits of the of the basket mics here, which are a very nice inclusion. Puts you right in the right in the lap of the players, if you will. Right in the heat of the action as he knocks down that first one. First shot is good. One more coming up here. 
for a wash suit. And knocks in the second. So 13 to 8 our score. Golden Lions up five. Just over 12 minutes to go first half. And again with a trap, and they're gonna call it a travel. And George Ivory is like, you gotta be kidding me. He was expecting a foul to be called. And it, I mean, they're all it over. Him. They are all over him. Wow. The crowd becoming more and more visibly upset at the lack of calling. But like I said, I don't begin personally to have a problem with him. So bias is starting to be shown. Uh, you can tell that this officiating crew is going to let him play, play for yeah. sure. And that's what we've had. Up with the right hand, Johnson in the lane, no good. Long rebound, kicked ahead from Jackson to Posey. And now Jackson will get it back, trying to get it inside. And it's going to be stolen. They try to go to Harper, and the block by Steen is going to lead to a foul. I don't get it. And Steen's going to get called for the fouls. We have immediate timeout here. 11 28. What a weird game. 11 28 to play. Here before halftime, 13 to 8. UAPB leads it by five over Alabama State. We'll have more Golden Lions basketball after this timeout. remaining first half 13-8 UAPB with a five-point lead and Alabama State's going to be towing the line here as we resume play Iwusho 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 with the e Swiss show please stop if you <laughs> that was a reach <laughs> that was a reach that all right <laughs> And Iwusho misses the second offensive rebound. I believe that was Davis on three, and it stayed down for Simeon as it tried to come out, but it cuts it to a one-point game all of a sudden. A 5-0 spur here. That's important. how important defensive class work is. Or a 6-0 run by Alabama State. It was 13-6, now 13-12. Here's McKnight, right side here, Harper. Now to Bart, Van Yard, and he's fouled in the lane, and you can see they're really attacking the paint. They are. They're not going to let them get away. They're going to force them to bring out their best players. They're going to force them to play people they may not be comfortable going up against the number one in the swag with, uh, forcing them to be in foul trouble, and forcing them to play on their back foot for the rest of the game. A lot of forcing, force, force, force. So at the foul line here for the Golden Lions, gonna be freshman Terrence Vanyard. What a freshman he's been. He's been one of the vital bits, one of the vital tools that the Golden Lions have been able to use in their quest to be number one. I mean, Vanyard hasn't started, but off the bench he's averaging Offensive rebound, kick out, long three by Jackson. No good, they fired ahead. Walsh is gonna get the 
layup in transition, and we are tied at 14. And I was saying, Bandit averages over 10. And a kick. Should let him have that one, but um, kick ball there. Wrong sport. And Jackson will inbound it as the student section with their you can't do that chant. They've been lively in conference play. Here's Hardy. Left side, Jackson for three, no good. And he pokes it away, gets it back, lays it in. How about that? Never give up on the play. Jackson, don't quit. Two point lead for the Golden Lions, 16 to 14. Drive by Simeon, they're gonna call a foul. On Harper. Jackson kind of reminds me a lot of a Ron Artest type player, just some hard nose, in your face kind of defense. Pachardo, a scoop, and they got it over the back there, no call. And we've said no call quite a bit to here in this first half as McKnight to Harper. Right side, Tolliver for three, and no good. And almost a travel there, but he kept his dribble alive somehow. That's the competition, uh, concentration there by the floor. Three right side, no good. Long rebound, saved to Banyard. Good hustle there by Harper. Man, Harper has been everywhere now. He's been flying up for rebounds, attacking the ball inside. Here's McKnight, beautiful spin. Missed it, however, off the glass, and he kind of looks at the official looking for a call, and he's not going to get that with this crew right now. Cross-court pass, Simeon passes up the three. Good defense, closed out by Tolliver. Excellent defense there by Tolliver. 11 to shoot. Alabama State with the ball here, Davis. Pichardo, strip, nice hands. Be a shot clock violation. As Tolliver was getting ready to kick it ahead in transition, they, okay. they called the violation instead. I mean, he had possession of the ball, though. I thought the Almost. It was, it was close. It was close. It was a close one. I would give him that. They wanted him to get it, like, hug it, squeeze it. Once I get into complaint mode, I just want to complain all day. Like, I need to calm break, down just a break bit. Break the goal line playing with it. Exactly. What is the catch anyway? But, that's a whole another broadcast. <laughs> Who knows? Two point lead for the Golden Lions here with the basketball. Eight and a half to go before halftime. There's a three by McKnight. No good, top of the key. Rebound Alabama State. Washo in the lane. He was trying to kick it out there. He was passing the ball. He's fouled. I don't expect him to get shots out of this, but he might. Baseline, actually. So Alabama State will inbound it down by two here with 8.22 to go before halftime. And Ross can't handle the pass, turns it over. That's one of those unforced errors that if you're, uh, that keeps you up at night as a coach, to quote you from a little bit earlier. Here's McKnight. Got LaFleur all over in the pass to Banyard. He has to adjust his body, hands and hits anyway. See, that's one of those things that only freshmen can do. Don't be concerned about the officiating. Just adjust yourself and just do your job and put the ball in the basket. Beautiful. Four point lead as our audio's cutting out again. Here's step back, G hits. G look, that was a nice shot. 18-16. Two-point lead for the Golden Lions with the ball. Seven and a half to go before halftime. Here's McKnight. And a block. Good defense by LaFleur. The kick ahead. And she is going to get the get the bucket. McKnight going for that pat mid step back. Fade away. Couldn't get enough on that. Great defense. 
And we're tied at 18 now. Here's McKnight. A pump fake, kick out, Tolliver. The drive to Van Yard and a big dunk. Somebody call a Carpenter. The extra pass there as they collapsed on the driving Tolliver and he drops the dime and the dunk to Van Yard. Wood's still shaking. Two point lead for the Golden Lions. 6.40 to go before halftime. Trip, accidental trip by Hardy as Ross hits the floor hard. We have a media timeout. We'll step aside here as we take another look at the drop off pass by Tolliver and, and Banyard, the boom, big dunk. Shakalaka. And the photography credit there to Gabe McDonald underneath the basket. We'll step aside. 6.39 to go before halftime. UAPB 20, Alabama State 18. Right back in a moment. Six thirty-nine remaining first half. Twenty to eighteen, two-point lead for the Golden Lions. Trying to see if we can get some stats over here. I haven't gotten any this whole first half. Trying to pass it down low, and Christian Robertson checked in for the first time, knocks it out of bounds. David Tillman's also in the game. With Robertson, you have Banyard, Posey, and Tolliver as well. The six ten seven. That is a lot of a lot of guy. You got to know Posey's going to help out for sure down there. Shot clock at seven. Here's G. The drive. A little one hander about ten feet out goes over the top of three lines on that one. Tied at twenty. Alabama State hanging tough here on the road against your APB. And now a steal. Iwashu, the steal and the dunk on the other end. Now four point swing. Uh, you can tell they did not like the 26 point beat down the Golden Lions put on Alabama State in Montgomery as they're coming out playing the Golden Lions very tough here. So UAPB is going to have to turn it up here tonight. Here's Tillman. His little jumper is no good. And hitting the floor is Banyard. And they're going to have a foul on the Golden Lions. It's going to be Banyard called for the foul for the push. Coach Ivory showing displeasure how this game is being called. Uh, that's the sixth foul for you. Oh wait, never mind. Seven is one and one, right? Yes, seven. 22-20. Alabama stayed up by two and the ball here. Tolliver could have had a steal if he would have looked up. Three right side goes for Ross and it's a five point lead for Alabama State. Trying to fire it back here quickly on the other end. It's a bit of a rush pass there by Posey. It's going to stay with UAPB. And Tillman and Robertson are out as McKnight has checked in. And I believe Robertson was supposed to stay in. Or no, Tillman was supposed to stay in. And Posey comes out. There's a little miscommunication there. Whoopsie doopsie, but there's no harm, no foul. 
Tolliver to Jackson. Backs his man down. Jumper goes from 10. Not as easy as he can get. There was no help for uh, there was no help for Ross. Uh, he just outside. 25-22. Three-point lead for Alabama State. Ross will fire another three, this time off the mark. And off of Pichardo and out of bounds. I believe what they say was out on well, I'm gonna say off of UAPV. Yeah. It's a weird one. It's a weird one. A lot of close balls this game. Ross. Nine to shoot for Alabama State. G is stripped by Tolliver. He will pull it out, kick out. Jackson for three and hits. And as he lost that three, he kind of did a little touch earth action. As that was a beautiful shot. Tied at 25 on the Jackson three. A reach in foul on Jackson here with 4.27 to go before halftime. They're gonna call it one and one now. That was a, that was a tick attack one. It looked like he had more ball than much else. And he was able to bulldoze his way in that. And it's one and one. Not sound the first one, I believe. Get it. One more coming up here. Pichardo at the line. He's got seven. He scored their first six for Alabama State. That's his first point since then. This is the second. Rebound Jackson. And a block or a charge. They're going to call a charge. Wow. That was a George Ivory does not like it. That was a that was, I don't like that call at all. I don't like that call at all. His feet were still moving when he made contact. I do not think that he was on time in getting that play. However, you gotta give credit with it. You gotta give credit where it's, where it's due. Good job getting there in time for the call. Inbounded to Ross here. Right side of Washu. Extra pass. Boy, some nifty dribbling there by Pichardo in traffic. He got away with it. He'll get it back on the baseline. And scores yeah. inside. There's a lot of contact down low. Three-point lead for Alabama State. Here's Jackson. Here on the right wing, top of the key to Harper. Banyard's got it on the left block. Going to call him for a travel, and George Ivory has seen enough over here as he is very frustrated with this officiating. And I don't blame him. It's not been very good. We'll step aside, media timeout. 3.49 to play. First half, 28-25, Alabama State leads UAPD by three. Right back with more Golden Lion basketball in just a moment. They've really let them play. And a lot of rough and tumbleness. Yeah. A lot of rough and tumble going on in this game. Here's Ross with the basketball as Alabama State's got it up three here. Johnson traveled there, no call. And you can't have two pivot feet, but anyway. Shot up, and somehow it goes. 
one of those Basket. games, man. It's one of those Good games. there for Ross, and it's back to a five-point lead. Everything's starting to fall for the opposite team. Got to find a way to overcome this adversity. Whoa! It's going to be a trip on Ross. There's like a chop block going on out there. It, it looks like the referee is admonishing him. Rightfully so. As they're just kind of trying to look. That was on McKnight, by the way. I think they're trying to see. I mean, I wouldn't. I would not put on these players that they're doing anything intentional. But you got to see what they can get away with. You know what I'm saying? As McKnight looking to take his first of two. Or first of one and one. Knocks down the first. Pretty first shot from the line. Yeah, from McKnight. Got to get him going. He's got five, but been a sluggish first half offensively. And he misses the second free throw, one of two. So Alabama State up by four with the basketball, just over three to play before halftime. Ross, left side. Now to G, the crossover. Reverse layup goes, and nicely done by G. He's got eight points. And the lead is now a game high six for Alabama State. Oh, it's absolutely beautiful by G in that play. Here's McKnight for three and hits. Just as smooth as easy as it gets for Martavius McKnight. Ross off the bounce. Kick ball. <laughs> Almost came back and hit Chardo in the face with it. <laughs> I mean, dramatic irony, but as uh, they had a kickball earlier, it didn't, thankfully it didn't hit anybody, and thankfully no one turned on the play. Ross, who left side of Ross. And it'll be a charge. There we go. Stephen Rogers. It was kind of... It was almost a mirror of the play that happened earlier. Except Jackson on the on the giving end and now on the receiving end. 32-29, Alabama State. Here's McKnight, step back, 15-footer is short. Kept alive for a moment by Harper. Now Ross has it for Alabama State. He wants to go all the way. Good hands by Jackson. Strips it out of bounds. Didn't even leave his feet. Just like, where are you going, little man? Just kind of stuffed him before he could get anywhere near high enough to make something out of that play. Great defense by Jackson. 201 to play first half. Alabama State will inbound it, leading by three. Checking out, Steen checking in. Rogers with the inbound to G. They got him trapped. That could have been a tie up. They're going to say he didn't have enough room. That foul. And it looked like that could have been a tie up there. Going to get Jackson with the foul. That's his second. Well, it was five fouls to none, Alabama State. Now it's nine to seven and fouls UAPB. <laughs> First one goes in. G, who's been on fire today, that's his ninth. G bends at the knees, knocks down both. The lead increasing to five. Just under two minutes ago, stopping the play. I'm not sure what exactly the deal is. Actually, a substitution being made. One fifty-eight left. Thirty-four twenty-nine. Alabama State up five. And the pass here to Harper. Steen. 
Back out high goes to Jackson. Now McKnight calls for it on the right wing. 13 to shoot. McKnight still holds it. Steen from 15 and hits. KG, where are you at? He's stealing his shot. I call copyright infringement. That was beautiful from Steen. 34-31. Three-point lead Alabama State. Minute 20 to go before halftime. LaFleur inside. Johnson scores. Johnson is just a force down there. Only his first shot in the game, but he's been a factor for sure in the low block. Well, the Golden Lions down five with one minute to go before halftime. Here's McKnight, looks for a high screen. Kick out now to Harper. McKnight calls for it right back. Sizes up his man with seven to shoot. The shake off the bounce, little fade away is good. Oh my goodness. The, the half spin sold him so well. He's got 10 in the game now and halfway to his average. And cuts it to a three point game. And with that basket to go in line, he did a two for one as. 12 second differential here with the game clock, play clock, and 15 on the shot clock. With 27.6 seconds left, Alabama State calls a timeout. Yeah, man, Alabama State doing a really nice job being physical. And you know, if I'm if I'm a coach for the Alabama State, I'm not going to tell them to stop. I mean, there's no reason to if you're going to get away with. You know, being physical, and they're going to let you play. Keep playing the way you're playing, but if we're, you know, the Golden Lions, they have been really playing well themselves defensively. They have been, they've gotten several blocks in this game. I don't have the stats to actually tell you the exact number, but they've gotten several blocks in this game, as well as a number of steals. That's, how, that's the main reason they've been able to keep the game to this level. Only down by a three. Really could have been a lot worse. Well, the Golden Lions are going to have to adjust the way this game's been called. And yeah. That's either you it. turn up your physicality or take advantage of theirs and be more finesse. 36 33, Alabama State on the inbound here, up by three. Seven to shoot now. The kick out. Ross the save to G. LaFleur lost it, gets it back for a moment. And they're going to say shot clock violation, even though the buzzer didn't go off. But it did a little bit. Just a little, a little burnt. No. I was going to give an example of what you, what the announcer you were trying to pull, but better burp. judgment says not chirp. to. Burp, a chirp, a bit of a, oh, well, I can't think of anything right now, so let's just move on. <laughs> 12 <laughs> seconds left. Inbound. Hardy's going to bring it up. Down to seven. Off. Here's Jackson. The drive off the side of the backboard. He was wanting a foul call. That, and we're at halftime as there was a no call. 36-33. Our score at halftime. George Ivory is just eyeballing the officials as we go to the locker room. He's not a happy camper right now at all. He looks back in disgust. And can't believe this rugged style of play that's been able being allowed here. But Prison ball, like eh? I said, that's probably not going to change. They're going to have to make adjustments. But we'll step aside. We are at the half. 36-33 Alabama State leads UAPB at halftime. Back with more in a moment.
welcome back inside of H.O. Clemens Arena. Tim Stubbs along with Tyree Spoon here as we are set for the second half. The Golden Lions trailing Alabama State by three as we start the second half of action. Alabama State will inbound it. And the Golden Lions got some work to do. Let's see if they adjust to this rugged style of play the officials are allowing here in this game. The Golden Lions will have to make some adjustments as they lob it inside of Johnson. Knocked away and a good save there by Jackson to McKnight. Good start. Beautiful start there. Great defense preventing the inside pass to the big man inside Johnson. OC will set it up out high here. First possession for the Golden Lions of the second half, down three. Steen right play. side here to Harper. That's going to be a hold, I believe, on Ross as he was holding Jackson. Knight was looking for a call as well as he was trying to cut inside. Thought maybe like a bit of a forearm to the face. Steen, little step back, fade away from watch 10, watch, no watch. good. Just a big time battle. Both sides of the ball for the Lions. Ross has it, out high. Screen, legal screen at that. Wave off the basket, it's gonna be on Pichardo. That's gonna be his first team foul number one. Pichardo was active offensively in the first half with nine points. Ross was the leading scorer for Alabama State with 10. And McKnight, the leading scorer with 10 for UAPB. Jackson had nine at the break. Yeah, man, a, lot of, a lot of scoring by a lot of players. Here's McKnight, now to Harper on the right block. Works on Pichardo. A lot of contact again, no call. He's going to call it travel. Harper shakes his head. He couldn't believe there was no call, and they call it travel after that. But right now the Golden Lions are having a hard time adjusting to this officiating crew that's, I mean, kind of really a, little bit, a little bit more than letting them play. Yeah, it's getting ridiculous. Wow. Jumper, Iwasu, air ball, but Pichardo gets it back, hops in the lane. Steen got it, then he got it stolen from him, and then the layup goes and a foul, and right now, everything going Alabama State's way. All right, you know how I mentioned earlier in the broadcast how I didn't mind them letting them play until stuff like this exact thing was gonna happen. It was bare, it well, wasn't yeah, really any audible contact. Yeah. It was, there wasn't any sort of audible contact, and I cannot see where exactly the foul play took place now. They have a better angle at it than I do, but still. I'm having a hard time defining what a foul actually is. What is a catch? <laughs> we go back to that, <laughs> always. Down five, here's McKnight, kick out. Posey, give it back to McKnight with 12 on the shot clock. Now to Jackson, step back. 17-footer is no good. Can't quite get that jumper to fall, and that's a big one. Alabama State up by five with the basketball. Their largest lead of the game's been six. It's been seven for the Gold Lions as a three is no good by Alabama State. Jackson ahead to Posey here. Just laser pass there. Steen, look out from behind. G tried to strip it. Now Jackson will hold it out high with 15 to shoot. Off a screen. Harper's got it. Fumbles it. Stolen now by Pichardo. Could not handle that on the pick and roll play. He had himself, he had himself positioned properly. He just wasn't able to handle the pass. So Alabama State with the ball up five. Three minutes going by, second half. G for three. No good. Posey the rebound. No numbers there, he's gonna slow it down. Yeah, the Golden Lions just gonna have to cut through this for the night. Harper, foul, counted, and one. And they finally get a foul called, and Pichardo's slow to get up. Yeah, Pichardo came down really hard on his elbow, protecting his head. Almost taking out the camera lady right there, but beyond that, that would be great Keanu, job by Keanu Harper. Austin. No, the one on the ground. The photographer? Yeah, photographer. I know Kiana. 
Free throw no good by Harper. This is the point in time where we need to start knocking this down. So a three-point lead for Alabama State. 16 and a half to play in the game. Here's Ross. Trying to go inside. Good hands by Harper. Just doing an excellent job of preventing any inside move by the Alabama State. Takeaway by the Golden Lions. Here's McKnight. Off the bounce. The dish. But couldn't handle it. Harper. Turnover is going to give it to Ross and a run out. Blocked by Jackson, but Johnson's there for the putback. It was a nice block. Great effort by Jackson. Get the chase down. Just finger tipping it away from the bucket. Banyard set to check in the next dead ball. Gold lines down five. Here's Steen. Spins. Right block. Too strong. Harper and a tie up with Pichardo. It's going to stay with Pine Bluff. 15.48 to go. We're going to have a media timeout. We'll step aside. Alabama State still leading it by five here against UAPB. 40-35. Right back with more Golden Lion basketball after this timeout. Fifteen forty-eight remaining. Gold Lions will inbound it down five here. McKnight's got it out here, high on the left wing to Harper. Backs his man down, goes over the right hand and scores. One v one. Harper is one of the best down low, and they didn't get no help. Richardo, he didn't get any help from the U Club English there, but had a hard time defending Harper like anyone would. Cuts it to three. 50 to 30, or 40 to 37, rather. Shot clock already down to 10. Uwasu may have traveled, no call. Pichardo from the elbow and hits. Open shot, Pichardo almost back to his scoring ways. He's scored first six or so, and now only four in the second half. Well, a totally different game, second time. In this matchup as a block by G on Banyard. Golden Lions won by 26 at Alabama State, but Alabama State up by five here on the road at UAPB here in the second half with 14.45 to play. Ross, Pichardo, good ball movement. Oasu ran into Jackson. Play on, they say. Ross for three and hits, and Alabama State's got their largest lead now of eight points. Golden Lions are going to have to turn it up. Maybe another... Monday night comeback here. Maybe. It's the day forward. They got to shake out of this. Here's McKnight, now to Harper. Inside, Banyard. Kick out, McKnight spots up for three, hits and one. A chance for a four point play. Great shot by McKnight. And that's become his specialty. Drifting <laughs> three-pointer. He did that to tie the game with a couple of seconds left at Texas Southern. And a chance for a four-point play here. I mean, the, the ability to draw the foul from anywhere in the floor is incredible. 
Look, I'm not going to debate whether or not he touched him because I think he did, but the a uh, little bit of added flair. And the difficulty the of, that, of that shot, he's acting away. Shot to try to get. That rimmed out, missed the free throw, and. He's a one of these, he's, I'm telling you, the free throw game is yeah. going to be super important in a game like this. Five point lead for Alabama State with the basketball. Shot clock at 12. Ross shot is blocked. Loose ball. Pichardo gets it back underneath the basket. Got away with another travel and gets the bucket. Wow. I mean, it's kind of crazy how My much goodness. they're getting away with right now. George Ivory is talking over with the officials now, and that's become a common theme. Here's Jackson too strong on the three. That look what was sailing true right there. Mm. It's a little bit strong. Well, the lead at seven here. Alabama State's largest lead's been eight, but they can get it a little higher this time. 13 minutes left. Golden Lions are going to have to rally here at home to get this one tonight. A familiar spot for them lately. Blocked out of bounds by Harper with two on the shot clock. Yeah, they're not going to have a lot of time to work with on the inbound there, but how about the play from Harper? Coming in to help, sending that ball flying. Lockbar, he's out tonight. They defend the rim here, nothing easy. They'll throw it out high. Johnson, you'll let him have that. Off the shot yeah, clock. Almost over the backboard there. It's, it's How strong is too strong? Yep. That strong, apparently. Missed it by that much. And <laughs> 47 to 40, UAPB will inbound it down seven with 12.50 to go. Got to get it going offensively. Here's Posey, or Hardy rather. Harper, Jackson, McKnight on the floor, and Tolliver as well. 14 to shoot, McKnight's got it. Trying to urge on Harper to come get the ball at the elbow, and then Rockets a pass in the corner towards Tolliver, but knocked out of bounds by Alabama State. One of the rare moments of frustration you see out of McKnight. As he's normally very composed. <laughs> On the baseline, strong move by Trey Harper. He scores and cuts it to five. You've got to be strong in these types of situations. You're not going to call your way. You're going to have to make the buckets anyway. You try to trap Alabama State able to get out of it. Doing everything they can. Pressure this, pressure this offense. Kick out now to Simeon. And a turnover. Not sure Simeon threw it away. Yeah. An immediate timeout. We'll step aside. And even 12 minutes remaining in the ball game. UAPB will inbound it when we come back. Trailing by 5, 47, 42 Alabama State. Up by five over the Golden Lions. Back with more Golden Lion basketball after this timeout. Well, 12 minutes remaining here as we're approaching the halfway mark of the second half. The Gold Lions trailing Alabama State by five. With the added benefit, at least towards Alabama State, of rough and tumble. Really play very physical and get away with a lot of calls. 
McKnight with the basketball across midcourt. Picked up by LaFleur, now Tolliver. Trying to get it to Harper, they do. This time a little bit short on the shot in the lane, but you can tell they're trying to pound it in there to Harper. They feel they got something there. They're not wrong about it. And a steal McKnight. by McKnight here on the run out. And a layup goes and should have been a foul as he was hit Pats right there. At the back of the head. There's I mean, the end one. My gracious. Unbelievable. <laughs> it's, it's prison rules tonight, I mean, man. It's prison ball, and you know what? If I knew, I would have brought my tank top out <laughs> and got on the floor myself. I could play a little bit of that. 47-44 is turning into a little basket tackle out here. A little football on the floor. Short on the three, but no block out. Stick back by Johnson, no good. And McKnight chases down the rebound. Ahead and not a very wise pass. pass yeah. Yeah. You, know, you want to get it back, but he's letting his emotions get to him, trying to take everything, at the, uh, get everything back at the same time. He's going to have to calm down and recompose himself. On three, Ross, no good. That, that should have been over the back on Johnson there. And they again, let him play on, but out of bounds, going to go to UAPB. I mean, all wow. right, how about this? You want to get a striped shirt on and... Yeah, they ref the game yourself. I sure. mean, you've lost a lot of weight. I'm, all, keep up with these guys. <laughs> I'm already doing it over here. I mean, seriously, though. Well, a lot of the reason we bring it up, I mean, we haven't seen refereeing a like game this, caught like this. Like this. Yeah. So you're, you're anticipating a foul to be called, and Sprinkle needs Where's help. The Where's Sprinkle, the foul? Sprinkle needs help. Yes, he did. I said foul. Foul? <laughs> 47-44. Sorry, the fan in me is coming out now. Three-point lead for Alabama State. A lot and of Harper. Kick out. Posey passes up the shot. Jackson with one to shoot. And I don't think he got it off. It doesn't matter as he missed it anyway, but they just waited. One pass too many there. Yeah. Posey probably should have shot that at the top of the key. He had a, he had a chance. He could have. Uh, he had the pump. He had him in the air. Just needed to take a step to the side and just launch it. Posey is a pretty decent three-point shooter. He just doesn't take them very often. He's more of a pass-first guard. 9.55 to play. 47, 44, three-point lead here for Alabama State, and they have the ball. 14 on the shot clock. Davis left side to LaFleur. The drive, he's gonna get the floater in the lane. That was a good move there. And the drive right into the face of the defense. Oh no, good way to keep the triple alive by Sprinkle. Sprinkle needs help. And gonna say off a of Sprinkle. Wow, turnover's gonna give it back to Alabama State. And you just have to adjust. You're you got not going to get the call, it, so I've you're going to have to grit your teeth and just play, yeah, play, play through, through the physicality of it. Five-point lead for Alabama State in this rough and rugged game. 15 to shoot. Tipped, almost stolen. LaFleur on the baseline, and then they call this out of all the stuff they let go. They call the ticky tack one, of course, and George Ivory just this is where looks in disbelief. I, this is where I look a little bit more angry than I normally okay. am as a broadcaster. 49. <laughs> We're bringing it down, but man, it's not an easy. It's not easy to sit back and watch this. Five-point lead for Alabama State with the ball. Ten to shoot. Here's LaFleur out high. The drive. Nice Tipped. There. Good hands. Shot clock violation should be, and it is. Uh-oh. They're getting a little chippy down here on the bottom of the pile. Got to be oh, careful. Boy. Don't need any of this. Got to be careful here. Jackson it's, getting his emotions into it. Sprinkle protecting yeah, his player. And George Ivory trying to get his guys out of there, but he's going to give the officials an ear fool because he, he yeah, feels they have, what happens. They, they have not controlled the way the game's been called. 
and this is what is happening. Exactly, it's this is what too happens. Too much physicality leads to this type of behavior. If we're playing prison ball, I mean, if we're playing this kind of basketball, yeah. you've got to expect... <laughs> You gotta expect that mo that emotions and tensions are gonna run well, very high. Well, it, you could just feel that it was coming. But it was coming. When they sure. don't call anything, they think they can get away with everything. You know pretty what I'm much. Saying? That's why you have to have control. Exactly. So this doesn't surprise me, but with 8:45 left, it's a five-point game. Alabama State with the lead, and. Let's see if they come over here to take a look at the video or not. I don't know. They might. Yeah, they're on their way. So what they're looking for right now is they're going to look for to see in that pylon whether or not there was any sort of punches thrown, number one, and number two, any obvious instigation. They're looking to see if there was any obvious instigation. The referee in air pool. And that was not a smart decision by him. But they're looking to see on the inside of that play whether or not there are any sort of punches thrown or any obvious instigation by the players. And if there is a technical to be hurt, to be uh, dealt uh, dished out. As I'm looking at it right now and It was a, like they're battling for the ball. And Steen got his arm trapped in between the arms of the the Hornets player. I didn't get a quite get a number there, and then just emotions are starting to run high now. 44-49, Alabama State ahead of the game by five. With just under half the half to go. That's a fun word. Couldn't set a word to say. Well. Oh, well, right. now, real quick, you, here we go. You've seen a, a little bit like of everything. They're talking it over with Coach, Coach Lewis Jackson and George Ivory, and let's see if they're. I'm, I must make a PSA real quick. Uh -oh. if, you, if you choose to show up to the game, please, please remain in your seats. <laughs> Do not come up well, and try we, to have a conversation with the referee. Uh, well, it's the officials you were them. coming over to look at the replay of the last little uh, sequence there and well, they, they were getting a little too close for comfort expressing yeah. their opinion to the uh, referees and then the head of the You're, officials you have, the, you have every up. right to your opinion just have it in your seat how about that eh? so we'll see what they call here but they They've let them play a little too much, and it's. I understand letting gotten, them play, but there's a, point, hand. there's a point where it gets dangerous, and a point where emotions get so high that you won't be able to control the game. I wonder if we may have an, an injection here as one of the officials is over talking with the head of the officials uh, from the SWAC office, and let's see what uh, they come up with. It's going to be Simeon shooting. It looks like a technical. Where they got that from? It's hard to hear. I couldn't hear the PA announcer, but gets the free throw to go. Now up by six, and that's a huge one. They'll get a second shot at it as well, and then they're going to have possession, so a possible. It looks like, I wonder score. if Steen, he's sitting on the end of the bench now, but I wonder if. I don't think there's an injection necessary in that play. Yelling. I didn't see Steve do anything more than yank his arm out of that pileup. A double technical, it appears. Then how, well, they called two shots. technicals on UAPB okay, and one on Alabama State. Well, it's a seven point lead after the free throws, and Alabama State gets the ball. Let's see if maybe this wakes the Golden Lions up. Eight and a half to play down seven. 
We watched him come back from way more than this. The drive almost a steal, eight to shoot. Simeon spots up for three, in and out, no good. Owasu can't get it to go, knocked out of bounds. UAPB ball, and let's see if the Golden Lions turn it up from here on out. Yeah. Remember that sequence that just happened with 8.15 to go, down seven. It's time to turn up. Remember last Monday, we were down by 15, I believe, at this yeah, particular with point of the game, and McKnight turned it on completely. Down 14 with five and a half to go on Monday night. But they got to get it going here. Sprinkle. Right side to Harper. Backs this man down. Contact, and now they do got to force him to call get the call here. Yeah, it's. You got to just go up strong with everything you got. It's going to wear you down, but. Got a media timeout here. We'll step aside and all take a deep breath. 51-44. Alabama State leads it by seven, with 7.59 to go over the Golden Lions. Back with more in just a moment. Seven fifty-nine to go. Starting to get late here. And I'll take a deep breath. Golden Lions down seven. They are at the foul line here. For once, I mean, not to get snarky or anything. Not like that, many, but. not many foul shots, but it's going to be Trayvon Harper. He's got nine points in the game. Leading scorer is McKnight with fifteen. And Harper, no good on the first. We said the same thing in the women's game. You gotta make the foul shots. They're giving them to you for free. Why not take them like that? Beautiful. Makes the second. So a six point lead for Alabama State. Golden Lions showing pressure here. Trying to trap. lafleur has got it. We'll set it up here now to Davis out high with 18 to shoot for Alabama State. 7.45 remaining. Right side, Owasu, a little up and under, and it's the English and spin to go off the glass. Great move by Owasu there. Yeah, he's got 11 in the game. Yeah, the number of scoop was one of the nice plays in the game of basketball. Here's Harper on the left block. And now they're going to call, I guess, a little forearm in the back. And now they've kind of tightened up the calling, and that's you know exactly what they needed to do. What we've been asking for. It's never been long overdue. One and one is the call, and got to make both these. There you go. First shot is good. That's a lead down to seven. Yeah, seven. Six. Here we go. 53-47. Just over seven minutes to play. Simeon. Luasu, they'll set it up now on the right side. Passing up the three was LaFleur. Now to Davis. Gets closed off. 12 to shoot. Good defense with the defense. Cozy. Off the screen, Davis. Throws it away. Picked off here by McKnight, and he's fouled. They're calling everything under the sun now. And, and you know what? I feel like we called this at the beginning of the game. And they're going to let them play now. Then something's going to happen where they're going to have to call every ticky-tacky. 
foul in the game. Well, that's this the first foul on Simeon. Uh, eighth team foul on Alabama State. So a one and one here for Tay McKnight. Knight. Very clutch all day long, all season long. And a 76% foul shooter knocks in the first. He's got 16 in the game, four away from his season average. Down again. How huge is that? Down to a four-point game now, 53-49. If, if, if this is the way back to the game, I don't mind it. 6.45 to play. Ross in trouble, almost stolen away. Ross to, to Pachardo, who lays it in. That's good by Pachardo, soft touch up, basket. Lead back to six. Sprinkle. Staring him in the eyes as cross him over. They try to hold McKnight out high as he's trying to free himself. Try to get himself across, and you know what? You cannot do that. And the fans are very ready to remind them you cannot do that. As they're really shining up now, and it's the late stage of the game. This is the pathway back into this game for the Golden Lions. And you got to take advantage of this. They're, they're really close to having guaranteed two shots. McKnight, a one and one here. Knocks him down. McKnight is the dynamite from the line this half. He's got 18 in the game now and it cuts it to five. Two from his average, as you would say. And one more coming up here. And short on the second, well short. The Lions still want to apply some full court pressure and now they'll back off a little bit. Mitchell is in for the first time. And now they'll set up their offense with 15 on the shot clock. Ross with the set screen. Ross almost stolen. Down to five. Ball loose. Stolen by McKnight. Ahead to Sprinkle. Sprinkle gets it blocked. A tie up, I believe, with McKnight. And the alternating possession is going to give it back to Alabama State. That one was one of the cleaner blocks in this game, but the, the way that they've called it so far has led to turn this fan base against them. Missed opportunity there. Wow. Excellent defense there, the chase down. This place is ready to explode. Ball oh, looked like it was kicked, no call. Pichardo and Duress now blocked underneath. He gets it back somehow, kicks it out to LaFleur. 10 seconds on the clock, we need to hurry. And a whistle, and shot clock's down to six, and... They might reset it. I, although I don't, I don't think it came off the rim, though. They're gonna just inbound it with six on the shot clock. It's getting random now. I feel like the referees are in like a panicking situation because they know the roof is about to blow off this building and they're being watched under a microscope right now. And then Bannett with six to shoot. LaFleur in the lane. Robertson wow. looked like all ball there, but he's going to get bailed out with a foul on Robertson. And LaFleur is going to shoot two as he was bailed out. Yeah, he was. I mean, no ifs, ands, or buts about it. That looked like mostly ball there. But, you know, if they're going to call it one way. Well, they call Harper, actually, his second. I mean, how did that even happen? <laughs> <laughs> what a little Japanese I there. Anything. I don't know. I didn't see anything from Harper. Maybe, a, you know what, in that case, sure, I guess, as he knocks the first one down. One more here for LaFleur. Missed it. Rebound, Mitchell. So the Gold Lions have it, down six. Here's Hardy. Jackson and Tolliver set to check in. McKnight comes out high to get it. Just over five to play, down six. McKnight 
fade away from 15 off the glass. It's that was, so easy. It's so easy for him. That was so pretty. McKnight now a 20 in the game, and four-point game is that. hard. He's going to get called for the... you got to be aware of the situation. You know, you know that they're going to call everything. You cannot expect them not to call you for stuff. 4.56 to go, Hardy's got the foul, and Alabama State will inbound it, leading by four. You gotta be really careful here, not to get into too much of a one and one, but too much into the bonus and giving them a way out of this game. Inbounded here to Ross, who's got his, his shorts tucked up Almost John Stockton style. They're up so short. I mean, I like the reference. I can't, I can't lie. Four point lead, Alabama State with the ball here. 15 on the shot clock. Ross, left side, three, short. And saved by Harper to Rigel. Left side, Tolliver. McKnight for three, no good. And G the rebound. Boy, had a good look at it. Yeah, you know, there was so much pressure on Tolliver. McKnight kind of walked right into the fire there, comfortable with it. Three in the corner, no good. Long rebound. Ross keeps it alive to Pichardo. And timeout Alabama State with 4.03 to go. Coach Jackson, the Hornets just walking right on the floor. Uh, the Hornets lead by four over the Golden Lions here, 56-52. Yeah, they're going to call a full timeout, even though we're, we're still left three seconds away from a media timeout. I'm not really sure. Panic. We'll just keep it here. Yeah, let's just keep it here. I mean, what what the Lions don't need to fall into right now is to fall into the, okay, they got their chance to be rough, let's be rough now. No, it's not, it doesn't work like that. They're gonna start calling everything under the sun. You have to be patient and finesse, play defense with your feet, not with your hands. And Posey's really good at showing us. He's been cutting out the inside lane all day long. Learn from that example. Let's get, and let's get this win. Hard to stay calm. You're a gold line fan right now. It really is. But much like the players, you can't let your emotions overwhelm you. You have to be able to understand the situation and execute the game plan. It's a bunch of sounds and we get back right into it. Next dead ball is from the mutual media timeout as well. Set to inbound it, up by four Alabama State. Four minutes to go. Still anybody's game, but the Golden Lions got some work to do. Left side, 10 to shoot. LaFleur, the floater. No good. Offensive rebound. Stick back again. Pichardo has yeah, had a big game. He's got 17 now to lead the way for the Hornets. That 2 3 zone is going to really hurt him. Hmm. And a lead back to six. Left side to Tolliver. Tipped and stolen. He tried to go inside to Jackson, who wanted to post up. But it was deflected and stolen away, and with just over three minutes to go, the Golden Lions are gonna have to tighten it up here. They're gonna need to try to find a way to get taller with the overall offense. Ross Pichardo kicks it out. Five to shoot. G the extra pass, but threw it too low. Pichardo couldn't handle it and turns it over. They're gonna try to get 
Tolliver involved as we have a media timeout now. Yeah, we'll take a timeout. 2.57 remaining, our last media timeout of the game here. 58-52, six-point lead for Alabama State. Right back with more Golden Lion basketball after this timeout. Fifty-seven is all that's left in this one. A lot of work to do. UAPB will inbound the ball, right. trailing so, Alabama State by six. Interesting decision by Alabama State to pressure when they're ahead by six. Jackson will bring it up. Now they back off their pressure. Banyard back in the ball game. He's got it out high. Now McKnight off the curl for three is short. That's a big one, big miss. And would have cut the lead in half, but came up short on the jumper. And Alabama State will set it up, work the clock, two and a half to go. Make sure they're not forcing it. Ross lost it, the steal by McKnight. Got numbers, Banyard is fouled, and he will shoot two. Big turnover there. That was a huge turnover there. That was one half McKnight's awareness. One half a Ross just misstep there. And Coach Jackson of the, the Hornets side of things really gave him an earful about that. Wow. That hurts. Banyard. He's free throw. 60% free throw shooter. One more coming up for the freshman from Milwaukee, Wisconsin. As Hardy will take a seat, Robertson back in. Robertson, McKnight, Banyard at the line. You got Harper and Ridgel as the second shot is good. That was a big one. They need this one out of that. Five point game, 2.15 to play. Excellent pressure from the Lions. Floor dribbles through traffic. Out of Ross, 15 to shoot. 2.05 to go. Alabama State up five. LaFleur knocked away. I'm gonna say last touch by Robertson. He was scratching and clawing yes. for the ball. There. Wow. Just I could mean, not get a handle on it. Four seconds left to shoot. Longer though. fingernails, he may have got it. It was that close. Wow. If he didn't bite his fingernails on the sideline like we all were, he might have been able to get a hold of that ball. But four on the shot clock, nevertheless, here. The inbound. Blocked by Van Yard with one on the shot clock. Get and that out Alabama of here. State's going to inbound it with just one second left here. I doubt they try a, a catch and shoot, but I mean, there's not much else they Don't can do. Don't bail them out here. Pichardo gets it off. Almost, or he tried to bank it in, but he missed it. Shot clock violation as it didn't draw any eyes. Which is probably, honestly, the best case scenario for them. Big possession right here, Tyrese. Got a five-point game, 148 to go. They, need, they don't need yeah. a three. That's well, the one they thing need they need to know. They need somebody to down the ball. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's number one. <laughs> As Harper now will do so. They don't need a three. They need a score. That's the Vanguard. first priority. Here's McKnight. He'll bring it up solo here. 
side of the lane, and he missed the layup. That's a, there was a little bit of contact, but he ended up getting to the rim and just... That was, that was, that was a nice move to get to the it rim. It was, but he just didn't finish, and it's going to be a foul on the miss, and free throws coming up here for Alabama State, but that would have cut it to three, and that was a big missed opportunity there for McKnight. Mm. I mean, he was probably looking for the foul. I mean, the drastic change in calling is really making it difficult to read these referees. That's why you don't worry about reading the referees. I've said it a couple times today. You gotta just play your game, and if they're not calling it, then just play stronger. But at this point in the game, you know, you've been beaten up all game. You might not have the energy. Well, we got a little stoppage of play. They, I don't know if they, something on the court, if there's, some kind of liquid or that weird hole thing oh, on the, the uh, off. yeah that's where the volleyball post go oh yeah that they thing. set up yeah. for now uh, you can't tape it he's trying to bring some, some tape I don't think you can tape it oh, it looks like they are taping it that's the tip. That is exactly what they're doing uh, I've never seen this before but anyway and I doubt it's going to stay there I don't think it becomes a hazard to be tape it, but it might. There always is possibility. So we're seeing a lot about the referees, and I don't know what else you can do in this situation. So getting right back to the action now. At the line, G has 10 points so far in this game. Looking to increase the lead to seven. Shot is good. 35 left. Six point lead. Position game. Missed the second. Banyard the rebound. Ahead to Jackson. Jackson needs some help. And call a timeout. And he gets it to Harper. McKnight's going to be alone. And McKnight. Backs his man down, dumps it off to Banyard, and gets it to go and run. What a move by the freshman out of Milwaukee, Minnesota. Wisconsin. You get the Super Bowl in your brain tonight. I do. I do. I apologize. Great move by Banyard, nonetheless. As I look at my atlas here to make sure my states are correct, he has no trouble finding the basket down low. Well, it cuts it to a four-point game with 1.12 to go, and big free throw coming up here. Make it a three-point game. Big-time shot by big-time Banyard. 59-56. Lower Lions on apply pressure here. Pressure, pressure, pressure. Banyard had to come out of the ball game. He was the last man to know it. As LaFleur is going to inbound it, Golden Lions full court pressure. 112 to play. Alabama State up three with the ball. Ahead to Pichardo. Out to Ross. They're going to take time away from the clock. And just D straight, straight up here defense. 55 seconds remaining, 10 on the shot clock. The drive and a blocking foul, foul with eight seconds left on the shot clock. Didn't need that. It's gonna be one and one. They're gonna need some crowd noise now. Because they need, they need for this man to miss both of these. If it makes one, it makes it a two possession game. Makes the first. Possession game 50 now. seconds left and four point lead. It makes this one. They're gonna need they're gonna need a three. 
knocks it down. Calmly, LaFleur hits both shots. He's got five in the game. Timeout called. Uh, the Golden Lions, the uh, 50 seconds left and makes it a five point game. So what you need to hear is Tolliver has not been able to get any sort of opening all night long. You need to find a way to spring him and let him do his thing. That's step one. Step two is defense. Step three is to get the ball downfield and get the first shot available. I like my game plan. Is that nice? Is that, is that a decent game plan right there? I like it. Now let's execute. You gotta spring Tolliver. That's the first step. It's not as easy as it sounds. Jackson inbounds it to Tolliver. Back to Jackson. He'll bring it up here. Don't have to hurry. Out high, right side of the floor, works it back into the lane now. Contact, and he's going to draw the foul, and that's three on Pichardo. Stops the clock at 39.7 seconds. And big free throws coming up here for Charles Jackson. Charles you with nine in the game. Both of these, there's no hit fans and much about it. First shot for Jackson is too strong, strong no good. Rachel and Christian Robinson, first in the game, fresh legs. This next attempt, trying to cut it to four points. And hits the roll. 61-57, 39.7 to go. A steal would be nice here. Almost got one. It'll be a block on Jackson. And that's his fifth. He gone. He's closed it up as well. Gonna be it for Jackson at 10 points. Played an excellent basketball game. Came in in the clutch when they needed him. He's gonna have to sit down for the rest of this one. And he was a little bit slow to get up to there. Four point ball game. It's looking tight. Bo's going to check in now from Rigel. He has three fouls. Posey in the game for Rigel. Shot in and out and back in again. All the rolls going the way of Alabama State as that might. Five, I don't point, know. five point lead, 37 seconds left. And now a six threes. point lead. Uh, three would be nice. Here's Posey. No time for anything else. Now McKnight. Double team in the corner to Posey. Thought about the three, passes it up. Long three, Tolliver, no good. And his wheelhouse right there. Kept alive, Harper through his legs, on the floor with it. And oh, tie up, call the time he's gonna stay time. with UAPB with 16 seconds left. Now, a six point game, you're definitely gonna have to have a three now. You need it now. Um, Posey just being hesitant on the shot. He had the space to take it. And he's not a slouch from the three point line. But that's not the first time that he's passed up a three-point opportunity. Robertson will inbound it here. 16 seconds left. Golden Lions down by six. Now inbound it here to McKnight. Step back three, short, no good, and a foul with 11 seconds left, and that should just that's, about do it. Yeah, that's probably going to do it there. For all intents and purposes, through all this, a lot of controversy in this game for sure. 
Yeah. But it was an excellent game played by both by both teams. One thing you can question is the officiating. But don't let that take away from an excellent Alabama State game. They were able to execute on an offense. Well, it's rough and rugged, and that's the, that's the style they wanted. And yeah. go Lions. They had a game plan. They stuck to it perfectly. Fell victim to the style of play tonight. Posey, the little floater three. Yes. They're going to call it a long two. They cut it to a five-point game instead of four with 5.5 seconds left. Timeout on the floor. Not a lot you can do here. Steal the inbound, hit a three, steal the inbound, Maybe. hit another three, and then we go home all happy. You know, steal it, him, instead of stealing it, just punch it, and somehow it falls into the net. One touch basketball right there. I like it. You no, know, if we're gonna talk about wish fulfillment, it was those one punch man strikes. Either way well. though, hard one to take. We have to. On the way through, they're trying to find the next game. It's going to be on the road next week as well. It's going to be uh, at Southern and Alcorn State. Southern next Saturday, Alcorn State next Monday. You know how much road, how much of road warriors. And the Golden Lions 5-0 and on the road, about to split a four-game homestand. Go 2-2 two and two on this four-game homestand, and oh, that's disappointing. Uh, two very close losses, a one-point loss to Grambling. And down five here, so a foul called on the inbound. 4.6 seconds left. Alabama State back to the line. fans voicing their comments and concerns, if you will, on the officiating in this game. Free throw no good by G. One of the very few he's missed today. And you know, big bugaboo that I've noticed, not only in the officiating, but when they started calling him, we could not execute on the free throw line. We, were, we had the advantage there. Well, we had more trips in there. Makes the second. Little floater three off the glass, no good. And we didn't break his hand on that one. And that is the ball game. A disappointing loss for Coach Ivory and the Golden Lions. Their second, only their second conference loss of the season. They will fall to nine and two now. Still in sole possession of first place, however, with the loss. And Alabama State improves to five in six now in conference play so tough loss for the golden lions they lose two of the four on the homestand and both losses by a total of seven points so we're going to wrap things up here from h.o clemens arena here tonight our crew special thanks to Frederick Price, Janisha Holliday, Gabe McDonald, Kiana Austin, and Janarian Rivers. Our director, Randy Kelly, and Tony Seville back in the Hot 89.7 studio. For Tyrese Boone, as we wrap things up here tonight, we say so long from H.O. Clemens Arena. I'm Tim Stubbs, and for Tyrese, good night and 